Welcome to our service for Ash Wednesday here at Northminster United. May this be a time for all of us to pause and to reflect and rest and focus, to be intentional about marking the beginning of the season of Lent. Perhaps you had time today or before today's service to pick up this small worship package, which we had prepared for, um, for you at Northminster. And it has a tattoo in it we'll be using and some beautiful beach glass and a small candle. So have those on hand for a little bit later in the service. Or if you don't have those things, no worries, you'll still be able to participate fully in our service today. And it also might be helpful to have a small bowl or glass or cup of water on hand. Our candle is lit. Let us begin our time of worship. Vessels holy and whole, broken, needing the one open, body and soul. Wednesday is a time for naming our brokenness. As we enter the season of Lent, we commit to enter also into a season of healing and recovery that requires the naming of what has been shattered as a first step. We take the yoke of responsibility as disciples of Jesus to be the body of Christ a body of those who still need healing and offer them healing in the world. The promise of Jesus is that he is with us in our weariness and our burdens. with stories of Jesus, Jesus healing in the Gospel of Matthew in this Lent season. We will see how Jesus encouraged people to open up about their lives as part of the healing process, no matter how broken. Ash Wednesday developed as a doorway to speaking the truth of our lives, a time to lay the brokenness of life before God. A prayer for Ash Wednesday. Merciful God, we have lived a year of Lent. In the midst of it all, we have seen love shine through at times. But as we look back in this moment, it feels like a year of shattered dreams and shattered peace. We are discouraged. Even though so much feels out of our control, we also see the ways our own faults and fail failures to love each other fully, to care for the least, to honor your creation, to stand for what is right and good, have contributed to the shattering. And so we come to you in pieces, fragments of our past selves. As we walk along these shores, we ask that you meet us here. Help us, healer. Show us our strength. Move us to move one step at a time toward greater care.
throughout the season of Lent, we will be contemplating the symbol of this broken glass, the sea glass or beach glass to be specific. And an author has, has said this about glass fragments that are collected on various shores. Listen to this. Ordinary pieces of tableware or beer or soda bottles are flung into the ocean. Years pass or decades and then one day there it is upon the shore. A small shard from one of those long ago discarded objects. Shifting currents have rounded out its edges. Abrasion has polished its surface. Exposure to the sun has altered its hue. And so when we happen upon it, here amidst the shells and the seaweed on whatever beach we, we may be near, we can't help but laugh with joy at what seems a miracle, this ordinary fragment of silica that time and adversity have transformed into something beautiful." End quote. So time and adversity, making something beautiful out of that which once seen as ordinary and broken is now considered this transformative and precious piece. This is the journey we undertake. Jesus attended to those considered ordinary. He, he paid attention to those who were broken, even those deemed unworthy. No matter what, Jesus is the lover of our souls. And so in the name of Jesus, sharing all our prayers, our brokenness, our burdens, what weighs heavy on us, we hear those words of grace and love from Jesus, that we are always forgiven and made whole and set free.
A second reading for Ash Wednesday, taken from Matthew 11. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Ash Wednesday, as the beginning of Lent, developed in the fifth or sixth centuries and was mandated actually in the 11th century. Although Protestants did not maintain this ritual for the most part, it has come back during the 20th century liturgical or church movement as an important time for reflection in which we reclaim this symbol and this ritual of our spiritual ancestors. It plays an important role in helping us make meaning in the brokenness of our lives. This year, indeed, we are aware of the fragility of life. Even though we cannot share ashes in the way that we have become accustomed to, I invite you to engage in a ritual that draws us close to the elements of creation. That's earth, fire, air, and water. So let it remind us that we are part of creation in all of its beauty and brokenness. Let's begin with earth. The sand upon which our symbol of our beach glass was washed, or the beach, the beach glass washes in, is interestingly the origins of glass making. Glass is liquefied, it's heated sand. In a way, the shards of beach glass that are the epitome of dust to dust, familiar words, or in this case, sand to liquefied sand. To take it back even further, sand is created by the erosion of mountains and rocks over thousands or even millions of years. In that, we are reminded of the brokenness and the erosion and the weathering of earth itself. All things become broken. All things transform. And every form we take is holy and whole and beautiful. So I'm inviting you now to take the cross tattoo if you were able to receive one. Um, and look at its dark color. Look at my, the color of mine here, the very dark black color. Take a moment and look at that color of the tattoo and be reminded of the soil beneath our feet. Then when you have time, I invite you to follow the instructions on the back of the tattoo and to place it perhaps on your hand or wherever you feel comfortable using the tattoo. Let's pray. Holy Creator God, as we feel this elemental part of who we are, we remember that we ourselves were made from the dust of the earth. To experience brokenness is the way of creation. It is not something to be ashamed of. It is the order of things. Transform us, O oh God, Help us recover the beauty of who we are and see the goodness in transformation. Glass, as we've just talked about, can only be created when the sand is met with heat, with the heat of fire. No wonder the scriptures and the poets throughout the ages have spoken of a refining fire. The heat of fire is always destructive, but with intention and with care and with tending, what trans 
transpires from the destruction of fire can be a new form with purposes that are good, useful, and so very beautiful. If you received a candle in your package, or maybe you have a candle at home as well, take a moment to light your candle now. Take a moment, look at that flame, look at its colors. Take a moment and look at, at the colors of the flame. It may be white or gold or red or blue. And as we do that, let's pray. Holy, refining fire of the Spirit, as we feel this elemental part of who we are, we remember that you invite us to furl the flames of passionate love for you and for each other. Do not allow the flame of our spirits to lie dormant. Offer us light and life. Transform us, O oh God. Help us recover the beauty of who we are and see the goodness in transformation. Our third element is part of our service today is air. The scriptures depict creation of human beings as having holy breath blown to animate our being. Glass vessels gained a new technique around the time of Jesus. In just the very first century BCE, glass blowing, which I mentioned earlier, was invented, offering a way for molten glass to be shaped by blowing through a tube, creating an air bubble, a glass vessel ready for uh, probably very practical purposes, but also for artistic enjoyment. Breath is part of the creation of our holy vessels. Breath is with us in our very first cry and will be the final song as we exit this earthly realm. I invite you to take a moment to close your eyes, if that's comfortable for you and just become aware of your breath as we pray. Holy giver of breath and life, as we feel this elemental part of who we are, we remember that this ongoing, life-giving, usually automatic, moment-to-moment -moment function can be an act of gratitude for our very origins. And this is the core of our relationship with the creation, sharing and existing within this atmosphere. Just as our breath offers us opportunity to let go of that which we do not need in order to take in the fresh air we need, transform us, O oh God. Help us recover the beauty of who we are and see the goodness in transformation. Water. As the water meets the sand, and as it meets the sand and the earth at the shoreline, we also are invited to a journey of meeting the living water that Christ offers us. Ancient peoples made wet soil in many forms as healing balms. Skin moistened, blood flow increased the area, muscles relaxed. This still is practical today in many places. Our Lent series about healing then gives us an opportunity to use this as our Ash Wednesday ritual of anointing. I invite you to look at or take the cup of water or the bowl of water that you might have near you. And perhaps later you might use the same water to, to put your tattoo on. As well to take some of this water and to place it into your palm. Put it into your right palm, the right hand, because this is the hand that you use when 
you greet other palms, someone else's right hand, when you offer a shake, a handshake, a greeting. So put that water into your right palm. And as you do this, may it signify interdependent relationship, that we are connected. Gently rub that water. As you do that, make the sign of the cross and let us pray. Healing Presence. As we feel this elemental part of who we are, we remember you created us, shaped us from dust in the palm of your hand. Someday we will return to dust, return to the palm of your hand once again, held and loved forever. We lament in this moment the grittiness of life, the need for healing, the difficult and necessary process of transformation. Mark us as your own. Remold us again and again as your people. Let the recognition of our own need break us open yet again for the sake of others, for the sake of the world. Amen. Just before our blessing, if you haven't been able to pick up beach glass, like this beautiful glass we have here, if you don't have any at home, we still have a lot of glass we'd love to share with you that we're going to be using every Sunday through Lent. So please stop um, at the church during office hours. If you're not able to travel, we can arrange for us to deliver some, but we'd love for you to have some of this beautiful beach glass as part of our, um, our Sunday worship throughout Lent. Our blessing. Go now with confidence that though shattered, we are held. Begin the journey of recovering your depth of love for all and your joy of living in this world. May the words of Jesus ring in your ears, I will give you rest. And may the spirit hover and move and deliver salve to your soul and a spring in your step. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing in this Lenten ritual. It is good to be together. Let's sing to end our time. Bye for now. <laughs>